One way to know how your engine is wearing is by cutting open the oil filter at every oil change. And this one came off my newly acquired C15 truck, and we're going to take a look and see how it looks on the inside. So let's get started. Now, I have no idea how this small block was treated or how the truck was treated for that matter, but there is a good way of finding out, and that's by inspecting the inside of the oil filter. So we're going to cut this one open and see if we can figure out how it was treated and if it was treated nicely or not and what the inside of it looks like. And if you're not in the habit of cutting open the filter after every oil change, now's a really good time to start. Now, I do know this engine was running really rich when I got it so I know the oil is fuel diluted which breaks down the additive properties in it so I, I have a feeling we're going to be kind of nasty on the inside of this thing because I don't know what's happened with this filter in its lifetime or the oil in its lifetime I'm going to go ahead and use magnets and the reason being is if I pour the oil out of the filter directly over the magnet it will catch any metal shavings on there and sometimes that's a little bit easier to see especially if you got a really disgusting uh, oil that's been running this thing and I, I have a feeling that when we cut open this canister it's going to show us some ugliness inside and, and using the magnets is about the easiest way to pick up uh, you know any type of contaminants that are in the filter. Now this tool is a really nice expensive piece of equipment but it's really really functional it's just like a giant can opener and I have seen people custom make their own out of a you know giant industrial can openers that are probably a lot cheaper than this tool is but this one works fairly well so we'll cut the top of this thing off and then start disassembling the pieces of it and then we'll get down to the core filter on the inside let it drain off for just a quick second and then we're going to dump the rest of the residue and, and oil that's left out of the filter back over the magnets and see if we can pick up anything uh, in any contaminants that are in there. Now the other side of that too is once you get the filter out of there and let it drain off for a few minutes and let it get some of the oil out of there, you can look pleat by pleat to see if the uh, filter has picked up any contaminants and then sometimes some of the big stuff you'll see in there but this oil is so filthy that is so grungy that there's so much nasty stuff at the bottom of this filter that there's no way I'm going to be able to see anything on here and if I do it's going to be something really big and chunky so again this is the reason why I use the magnets on this one just because this certainly went a long interval before you know, from the time it was uh, the oil was changed and it lasts, so it's nasty. <laughs> and uh, like I said, using a magnet's about the easiest because visually I can't see anything. It's just a black, soupy, disgusting mess. Now, with the rest of the oil that's left in the filter, that's where I'll dump it back over the magnet to see if I can pull anything out of it. And for sure, this one has got some crusty, nasty stuff in it. Now. The magnet has attracted quite a bit of material here, but don't don't let that fool you. Um, if you attract a lot of gunkiness on there, there is probably some metal material in there. But if you look in the bottom of this filter, it's just a big, gooey, nasty mess of garbage down there. And no doubt, there is probably some metal in there. And that's why it's best to do a little bit better inspection on that magnet. You can kind of feel it, see if there's anything on there that's not gummy nastiness and see if you can find any texture to it. Um, and this one certainly has a little bit to it. It's not horrible, but there is certainly some metal material in there. The other thing is, is once you get that all done and looked at that way, you can hit it with a little bit of carburetor cleaner and the carburetor cleaner will blast off some of the oil and residue but it will leave the material behind that's magnetized or that's metal that's sticking to the magnet so it's a good way of kind of giving it a, a another once over but certainly this engine was not treated very well I didn't expect it to be it was a farm truck um, they're going to get a little bit more uh, aggressive life and, and probably longer intervals certainly dirtier um, you know didn't have a, a very good air cleaner on there when I got it so I'm sure it operated quite a bit without that, um, given the condition that the carburetor was in. That doesn't surprise me either. So um, this is just confirming what I knew about this small block is it wasn't treated very well. And it's probably going to have some issues down the road. It does smoke a little bit, which not surprising to me. But, uh, you know, the cylinder heads are probably shot. The rings are probably a little shot. And, you know, a lot of that stuff is can be directly uh, traced back to the oil. So... 
uh, certainly there's it's got some it's got some issues and the sludgy nasty garbage that's in this filter certainly tells me that uh, it's gone long times before it's you know between its uh, intervals of oil change now I'm going to leave a link up above to another video by another channel called Piston Twisted Garage. And those good folks over there have a different way of doing it, which is the more common way of doing that. And that is with a, a paint type filter or a coffee filter to see if you can catch any chunky, nasty material coming out of your oil filter. So definitely go check that video out. It'll give you a different way of looking at this thing and a different idea of how to do this. So this is one of those little things that's just a really good practice to get into. It does take a little bit of time. It is kind of messy, but, you know, having your own little oil pan here and, and a nice clean area to work in. And it's just nice to, to get a good understanding of what's happened with the oil and the oil filter. And are you getting any nasty stuff in there? And, and like I said, if you are, it's, it gives you time to pull the plug on it. So anyway, I will leave a link down below to all the tools uh, I used in this one. Uh, especially the the oil filter cutter it's it's a like i said it's a little expensive but it's a tool that once you have it in your garage you're going to be glad that you have it and, and use it every single time you do an oil change so anyway if you got any questions don't hesitate leave them down below and we will catch you on the next one